Um, a good introduction to uh, Lovecraft stuff for younger readers is Vicky's First Mythos, which is a, uh, an alphabet and a numbers book. Uh, when you get up to ten old ones, the universe is extinct. So it's, it's actually, it's, it's pretty great. There's also a uh, Mad Monster Park. What do you think is your inspiration for the Doctor, for which Doctor? Um, that, it just kind of, like, I, when I first started with Doctor, I hadn't started watching anything like Doctor Who. Um, I hadn't really seen any house yet. Uh, so it was just sort of like the jerk Doctor character who was in my head. And, like, a lot of the stuff that he says is either, like, my voice, and uh, not necessarily things that I would like to say, which is sort of like my writing voice, or there are some bits that I've stolen from Doctor. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, secretly, you know, um, yeah, I really like the idea of, you know, the, the jerk who helps people, and, you know, that does say something about, you know, who I used to be. Who's a jerk? What's that? Oh, yeah, the doctor well, is a jerk? Well, he, no. Well, I'm talking about which doctor, because his question is about which doctor. But no, yeah, doctor, I will ar totally argue that the doctor is a jerk. No, no, take a couple minutes. And the other part of it, when am I going to get more? Oh, yeah, we're actually, uh, just, just to spoil the big announcement of this guy now. Uh, Witch Doctor Volume 2 Malpractice is coming in November. Uh, the first three issues are all drawn already. So. I just want to say, after like, the final panel of the comic, when he gives that whole spiel about, no, you guys need me, you become my favorite hero. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's, that's awesome. I guess my question is mostly for the artists, but also for the writers and the director. The people who go going on the comics. What do you either tell the artist, or what is your inspiration for cover art when it comes to the comic? Um, for Witch Doctor, like I can only I can only talk about the things that I've done. Uh, for Witch Doctor, some of the covers are things that I've suggested, and some of them are uh, just things that, that Lucas drew that look really awesome. Uh, in this slideshow, there's the cover for uh, Witch Doctor: The Resuscitation, which was a one shot we did in December, and it's uh, the cover is. Uh, basically, like a visible man guy uh, lying in a bathtub full of ice, and the doctor kind of looking on. And that was just, it was inspired by stuff that happens in the issue, but it's not like, you know, there is a dude lying in a thing of ice, and like later on there's like a visible man thing, uh, but they're not actually, uh, they don't actually both happen at the same time. So, a lot of times it is, you know, it's, it's elements of the story that give you a sense of what it's about without actually spoiling what it's about. Um, so that's, I think that's a lot of our covers are like that. Uh, covers for me are basically horror movie posters. So that's how I look at them. And you know they don't necessarily have to pull from direct scenes, um, but more um, describing the issue as a whole in a sort of abstract way. I found that um, Anna, the artist of Godkiller, uh, if you look at any piece of work she's done, you can tell which drug she was on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, would any of you like a My Little Pony crown?
producing uh, more than just the first one? I just want to say for the record, you're awesome. <laughs> I think issue 16 is going to hit the shelves next month. We just, issue 15 just hit, uh, 16 comes out next month. We started it uh, as though everything after two never happened and just picked it, which I, you know, I think some people think is fair. Uh, <laughs> no one went to space, uh, no one, no one's life flashed before their eyes in one second, which took place over the course of the whole movie. Uh, none of that happened, and, and we, uh, it, it, it takes place, I think it was 25 years after Hellraiser 2 happened, and now Percy, the, uh, the lead character, is, has gathered a, a band of uh, friends who've also been touched by Hell, and uh, they together fight against Hell and uh, try to destroy all the boxes, and uh, it all goes wrong. So that, yeah, so that's where, so that's where we are right now. Well, uh, we don't have any more questions, but um, I wanted to give uh, everyone a chance to talk about what they have coming up. Um, you guys got to go out and support horror comics, and so, the writer Mark, you want to start? Uh, what's that?